Hey guys, guess what I have? I have lithium batteries. They're going in our coach. We're just about ready to get this project started. Follow along and see where we go with this. Gary, Stacy, Spirit, and Sophie. We're taking our motor home around the country. Around North America, we're on the road. It's Powhana Travels, here we go. Hey, John and Judlow from uh, Geo Astro RV here. And Gary Quimby with Powhana Travels. We are super excited to be working with our partners. Battleborn Batteries. Hey, sponsors of our movie, The RV Nomads. Absolutely. What are these, Gary? Okay, man, these are lithium batteries. These are 24 volt lithium batteries. Uh, we're gonna install these bad boys into, into my motorhome. I'm excited, man. This oh, is this gonna, gonna be, be an awesome uh, project. It's gonna be a big project. Where are we right now? We're in the middle of the Colorado Rocky Mountains. We're about 7,700 feet in elevation on the Weiss Reservoir with, uh, I don't know, about 11,000, 12,000 foot mountains right behind us we're looking at. God, absolutely gorgeous. I think the the, uh, the village or the city right out here is called um, West, West Cliff. West Cliff. So your project here is a continuation of something you started in Wellington? Absolutely, yeah. So in order to make this happen, I needed to have a, a solar on the roof. Uh, and then what we had on there just wasn't quite adequate. So we took all the existing solar panels off and I added 10 brand new 200 watt high tech solar panels. So now we've got a total of 2000 watts of solar on the roof. We are going to have 10 24 volt lithium batteries in my battery bay. And being 24 volt, it's only gonna give us 500 amp hours. But now remember, that is at 24 volt. So equal to about a thousand amp hours at 12 volt. So we're talking about more power. 24 volt system. What other options are you going with in this system? Well, we're gonna expand it even more than just the batteries and the solar. I wanna be able to run the rig like we're plugged into a 50 amp power post. So what we're doing is we're going with two Victron 3000 watt inverters. What that's gonna do is, be, is gonna be able to power, I'll, I'll be able to power up both sides of our circuit breaker panel, just like we're plugged into a post. We'll be able to run AC for a limited amount of time and the washer and dryer and use all conveniences of the home. Crazy. Absolutely yeah. crazy. Absolutely crazy. Elevating the story. That's what we do here. Love it. It's epic, man. Let's do it. We're doing it. So you got the cardboard piece down here, you see that? This is a uh, representation the same size as the bay that we're putting the batteries in on the coach. I'm just kind of doing a preliminary test fit to see how these bad boys are going to fit in the bay. And I think this is how it's going to work. You got five up on end in the back row and five laying flat on the front row. And you know, because these are lithium batteries, there's, they're not flooded cells, they're not AGM, they're not gel, they're lithium. So if we wanted to, I could mount these batteries like this. So these are lithium batteries, 29 pounds, not 70. And you can mount them in any direction you need. And now we're going with the lithium batteries. We're actually going with 10 of these batteries and we're replacing our six flooded batteries. They weigh about 70 pounds a piece, so that's 420 pounds currently in there. These weigh 29 pounds each, so let's just call it 30 pounds times 10, so that's 300 pounds. So we're gaining 100, or we're losing 120 pounds in that battery bay. So these lithium batteries are something else. Battleborn batteries made in the USA. Reno, Nevada, actually. Right near the Tesla plant, too. <laughs> All right, we uh, well, we're digging into the battery bay here. I uh, just removed our Magnum PT100 solar controller, 
and uh, now I'm uh, evaluating uh, my next step and I believe we're gonna have to actually uh, kind of turn the house off for a little while and then uh, the temporary means of power I am gonna hook up I'm gonna take these batteries out set them down on the ground down below and uh, hook them up so they work down here outside so we actually have power in the coach so uh, yeah I hope that works <laughs> And uh, so, just so you know, I did. Uh, I was on the roof, and, and uh, I uh, these these wires coming down right here are from the solar panels, the, the junction box up there. And I have pulled that fuse, so there's no power coming through these wires right here at all. Um, yeah, that's where we're at. Well, it's 2:45 in the afternoon, and the disco is now officially dead. And what we mean by that, we have cut off all electricity to her. And we are currently working on taking the old batteries out, putting the new in, installing the inverters and the solar charger. She may be down for more than today, which should be interesting. But thanks to John and his solar trailer parked right outside our rig, we have an extension cord coming through the rig through the window you can see it right there and it's powering a refrigerator so at least our food is safe and still cold so far so good we're very excited about what is about to happen with our rig she's getting a major overhaul the innards are coming out some of it will go back some of it might not this is what an empty battery bay looks like all six batteries are out the pt100 is out the catastrophic fuse is out this is just basically what's left is what's original chassis stuff. So uh, we're, we're down to the bare bones. Uh, clean it up quite a bit. There's a lot of dirt in here. A lot of dirt, chicken dust all over the place in here. Uh, clean it up and I put silicone around all the holes and now we're applying this one inch foam to add a barrier of insulation. And on top of the foam, putting plywood. Now the batteries will have a good place to rest on everything else. We'll have a good place to rest on, on this uh, on this surface. When, when one thing with lithium batteries is they some sometimes are a bit temperature uh, intolerant, especially cold temperatures. Uh, get down below a little bit below freezing and they don't like to take a charge. So this will help with that a little bit. And then, uh, yeah, this will help that a little bit. Some of the misnomers I noticed with uh batteries is lithium has changed and Battleborn was pretty proud to say that the the idea that uh, the temperature would get down to what 27? 27 is, is ideal is, is a good temperature yeah so the reality of this is that you know if you even if you're in Alaska um, and you've got a, a, a bay that's gonna have uh, air coming down through it so it's gonna be taken care of that way plus you had insulation on the bottom part and even if you do a little bit of something like well, a lizard pad or something on the top in that area yeah I think you're going to be good. Oh, we're going to be great. The humidity is really low, and it's been a pretty warm day. I think this is like number 10 or so today. <laughs> I've only peed once. <sighs> <laughs> All right, so we got the one-inch foam, we got the half-inch plywood, uh, and a whole bunch of silicone seal underneath the foam covering up any of the holes we got there so there should not be any water penetration and it also keeps a lot of the dust out so this will be much more of a clean environment for all of our brand new equipment i also just finished mounting a board up here for one of our inverters um it's uh yeah it's gonna get tricky. It's gonna get tight in here, but we, we're gonna have to figure out where to put stuff and how to put stuff And I think that's gonna work. We'll put one over here and we'll put the second inverter over here And there'll be ten batteries right here ten lithium battleborn 24 volt batteries right here It's going crazy Well, it's nearing eight o'clock and the guys are still at it. This will continue tomorrow uh, Gary's currently installing one inverter into the battery bay. Uh, tomorrow he'll install the second one, as well as the solar controller and all the batteries. So it's a process, it takes time, but we're getting there. As always, if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up down below. 
leave us a comment and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. We thank you for watching. Until next time, Pow Hana! Hana.